You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. Students from Martin County High School gathered Thursday, March 30th to protest bullying. The protests began inside the school, but shortly after Trenton McCoy, a freshman, was expelled for the remainder of the year. This led students to walk out in solidarity and join the protests. Basically, for the past couple of years, this girl, she has special needs, she's really sweet, she's so kind. She goes here and she's allowed to walk through the hallways and stuff. Well, there's about 15 popular girls, they're all in sports, you know, and they decided to sit her down at a lunch table chew up bananas, spit them out in a tray, and make her eat them until she literally could not eat anymore. She threw up and kept throwing up and was sick and was crying and wanting to go home. They didn't do nothing about that. They got away with it. Okay, that happened. And then on the internet, they were cyberbullying her, and she even said that she does not want to be in this earth anymore. And she's just an autistic girl. She don't know. So for her to say something like that, it is sick. Following the student walkout, the school went on lockdown, not allowing students to exit the premises without a parent. Several students who joined the protests have also been suspended. I've been bullied here. Almost all of these kids here have been bullied. They either expel the person who, uh, who is uh, the one getting bullied, they expel them, or they talk about it even though they're really not doing nothing about it at all. The uh, principal Martha Williams, she's not doing a thing about nothing around here. No one is. The teachers don't care, and when we went to the office about it, they just said that they couldn't say anything about what, how much, like what kind of trouble they're going to get in. They didn't care. The only thing that they did was bring the girl in that made a Facebook post about it and say that if any kind of fights or protests or anything come out of this, that she's not going to be allowed to go to prom. According to the students, Martin County High School has canceled prom in response to the protest. Students leaving the school with their parents were also seen throwing objects at the protesters. And I think it looks sorry on the parents too of the children. It looks They're bad for the parents of the children. You're like calling the schools and telling them that your kid didn't do anything, but you know good and well that your child did do that. There's just proof, there's continue. screenshots, there's videos of the children doing that to her and the parents still do not believe us or believe the school system. Like why would you let why would you let your kids bully an autistic kid when they don't know they don't know the rest of the, the school wrong system? Anyway, so why would you let them do it? I talked to the girl's sister and she said that they did not know until they saw it on Facebook. So the school when this happened did not even inform them. The students plan to continue protesting until change is made. I feel like it's it's pathetic to take away like our prom and stuff for doing something good and trying to like empower other kids to stand up against like what's been happening. And I feel like the girls should be held accountable. Nothing should be taken away from us or the kids who's trying to stand up. They need to be expelled, just something. Not put in ISS, they need to be expelled. Because this has happened since February and this is almost the first of April. They care more about what we're doing than what the people inside are doing to their other students. The people who are hurting other kids inside is not a priority to them, and that's been made obvious today. Uh, we are not hurting anybody. We are not hurting anything. We're not doing anything but standing up for what's right, and they're trying to silence us because they know that they're wrong. Those girls need to get suspended or expelled, and instead of us, we're the ones trying to get justice for Heather, and we're the ones getting in trouble. They pick out favorites. The popular, almost all their moms are the school teachers, so they have to do what they say because they got money, they got, uh, pop, they're popular, everyone likes them, but not no more. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.